voice warm up session and one exercise is to go through the vowels and do it very softly with your voice and you are totally relaxed ah, 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 ah. expecting everybody to be able to control the breathing in combination with the singing is something you have to train and it's important to sing from your uh, breathing from your stomach and not the upper part of the body because then you have more support for your singing it's the same for talking so one exercise is to push from the stomach and then you can use what's called the lip bubble because then the pressure on your vocal cords is quite natural take a famous song and use a lip bubble it tickles the nose <laughs> like uh, let it be and lip bubble you can do anywhere on the bus, in your car. And one important point with voice warm-up and voice care is to do it regularly. Whole, well, once a day, but just before you're going to perform, like the 10 minute warm-up should be enough. Then you have Monsignore, 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 Monsignore. Monsignore, Monsignore, Monsignore. In here, I feel a little tension. So I need to warm up more. Uh, you have also tongue thrill. That is also like lip bubble, quite uh, a mild warm up for your voice. Dancing Queen. Uh, 
Anati, take deep breaths. So if you meditate, that's quite helpful also. You breathe in and you breathe out. You can also train to alternate low and high voice notes. Again, do not strain the voice, but from high to low. So gong gong. So gong gong gong. So gong gong gong. So gong gong gong. And if you have an instrument like a piano or a guitar, then you can follow the notes. And there are videos on YouTube you can watch if you don't have an instrument and follow the melodies and the warm-up exercises there. You should be also careful regarding your voice to what food you eat and what you drink. Like if I drink Coca-Cola, it's very sticky and it makes me cough. So water that is not too cold is uh, good. Also, if you drink uh, lemon juice and uh, fresh ginger and honey, that's good for your body and for your voice. And uh, also, it's important to record yourself because your ears are here and your mouth is here, so you cannot hear how you sound. And one thing I've tested when I recorded is to think about different things. So if you think about some happy thoughts, that will influence how you sound when you speak and when you sing. Think about sad things that will also influence you. So it depends on the, which song you're singing or which part of the song you're singing. Think in images. So. Songs often have like physical objects, metaphors for feelings. So let's try it. I think about a uh, warm summer day and about love. Des yeux qui font baisser les miens, un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche. Voilà le portrait sans retouche de la femme auquel j'appartiens. So now I'm thinking about the warm sun and the love I feel with people I love. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, qu'il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. I can also sing a jazz song and I recorded this quite a long time ago when I learned the technique to sing jazz music and it sounded pretty good in 2009 I think it was but now I think I have mastered it quite well for this particular song especially so and it trains different techniques like Nat King Cole L-O-V-E again a love song L so you hear it's very open, airy type of singing. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. So you have chest voice and head voice. L is for the way you look at me oh is for the only one i see and variation is very important in music sound and silence and uh, syncopation and jazz all types of techniques are used to vary the music
and I've been singing in gospel choirs, so that has influenced me quite a lot. It gives you versatility in what you can sing. You can sing many different styles if you have been in gospel choirs. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. That's a very good warm up, this little tune. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And think about the images, the sparrow, the grace, the love. So that's enough, I think, for a warm-up.